Hey folks, I thought I'd do a video on clarifying um, where you're supposed to put screws in on, on modern metal roofing. As there's a lot of commentaries on a couple of my videos that I should have I was supposed to put the screws on the, ri on the ribs. Um, when I first started doing metal roofing uh, 30 years ago, we installed 5V, which had, like it says, has 5Vs and you would nail come in straight at the top of that peak. You'd actually have to take a hammer and dent it a little bit so you'd have a flat surface and then you would drive your nail into that that peak. And there was um, a rubber washer but prior to that there were lead washers. And basically the head of the nail was what was really protecting the water from getting in not so much as the seal of the washer. So fast forward um, 10 years, so like 20 years ago, is when um, what we call modern metal roofing, like this, this is a classic rib design here, uh, made it to the market, and they relied upon this, which is a screw. They were screwed in, they were never nailed in. And the schedule, for from the manufacturer for these roofing panels was as follows. So you were supposed to on the flat. This is so. This is your first panel putting down. This is so the short edge right here doesn't have a lip on it. So you know this is the top. But if say this is your first panel going onto a roof, you'd first start with one screw and then a second screw. And then on your next ridge over, so this, this valley right here would get two screws, and then you would have a screw here, and there, and there. And then for the next panel, you'd have a repeat of the two. What this did was, I'll move this, this piece over, and we'll kind of pretend this is the, uh, What that did was it ensured that the panel going over had a good anchor as well as the rib had a good anchor. So for for one panel which has five ribs and four valleys you should be using five screws. And now what this does is it makes the panel structural meaning that it adds strength to the entire building. Um, it's kind of like putting down sheathing for except you're putting it down steel sheathing as long as it's screwed in on schedule. Schedule being that five, uh, that five screws pattern. Now, if you're putting it in the center, I've seen roofs done where they saved a screw and they put it in the center. That is not to schedule. That doesn't give you, that eliminates your structural uh, element of the panel. I've also seen I, I have, where they've taken metal roofing and they put it right in the valley. Now, I mean right in the, the rib. You have to use longer screws, but the biggest problem with putting it in the rib is that for, for one, you're screwing the panels to one another. The, uh, let's just move over here. Forgive me, well, sometimes it's easier. So, on, this is the end panel. So if you're screwing these two pieces together, well, you're not giving it a way to move much. And the way that these panels compensate for thermal expansion is by having this, this joint right here be able to, to, to move a little bit. If you've got it on the ribs, what you'll wind up doing is you can get buckling in the center on really hot days. Um, as well as shrinkage on really cold days. So it's putting a lot of stress on these screws that also don't have any support all the way, you know, they've got a, about a one inch gap between the deck and the screw. So there's a lot of, way, a lot of leverage that you can actually work hard in the, the screw and they can break over time. Now, the other problem with, with running it into the rib 
is that this washer that is a nice rubber rubber seal requires a flat hard surface to screw onto. If you've got a surface that can bend and move, well you can negate that seal. Now I'm not saying you can't screw into the ribs, but you do it with a special screw, which is called a stitching screw. Um, it is used for installing caps and that sort of thing where you actually screw the cap onto the rib, not onto the deck. And those have enough clearance that they don't touch the wood and they are strictly metal to metal combination. So anyway, um, that's about it. If uh, like I said the nice thing about metal roofing is it adds a structural element to your to your building. So you wind up with a stronger building than what you started with using metal over asphalt shingle. So as long as it's screwed in on schedule. Now the, if your manufacturer says to put it on the ribs, then you follow what the manufacturer uh, screw schedule is and you put it on the ribs. But I have never seen in modern metal roofing ever um, the proper schedule to be on, uh, actually installed on the ribs. It's always been in the flat. So anyway, I hope this uh, video helps some of you and uh, y'all like and subscribe.